it's Alex at the Synodics, and you are in my garage because today we're talking about some EV things. I have two EVs. I have a Tesla Model 3 and a Polestar 2, and I only have one NEMA 1450 plug like most people do in their garage. So how do I charge both cars at the same time? Well, what I've been doing before is one car would get a level two charger through this, and the second car, the one I drive maybe less every single day, would plug in through a standard wall plug outlet, and that'll be only level one charging. So not the best way to do it. So Lectron actually reached out to us and we're like, hey, we got a better solution for you guys. We have a product, this thing right here, which we're reviewing today, the NEMA 1450 splitter socket. It turns one 1450 plug into two 1450 plugs. And basically, we can charge two cars with level two speeds. It's not perfect. There are certain things that happen here that uh, we lose some functions. However, I do get to charge two cars at level two speeds, and we're gonna talk about this right now. First off, thank Electron for sending us one of these products. It's really cool to take a look at. They're not gonna be watching this video prior to publishing. Everything I'm saying here is based on my own experience. And let's jump into this product right now. All right, so installation was very simple. It's exactly the same as what these holders have. You basically have a bracket, put it on the wall, and it just slaps on. So once it's in place, it doesn't move. Um, I have to set it here because my breaker is on the other side, so this is the only area I can mount stuff. Kind of stupid, but that's how my house is. So our setup here is actually really simple. On the left channel, we have a Polestar plug, the J1772, which will give it level two speeds. And then on the right hand side, on the right channel, we have our Tesla plug, which every single EV will have going forward. This will plug into our Tesla Model 3 and give that level two charging speeds. So on Electron, there actually is an LCD screen that will display information here. You just press the button, and it will light up. You see the NEMA splitter here. It'll show you the amps while it's charging. Also the watts, then the kilowatt hours. This is a uh, ongoing total. And then the volts as well, as well as where the battery is charging on each one. So you can see exactly how far along you are. Primary socket and the second socket. On the side of the frame here, there's actually a circuit breaker for each individual channel. You can flip those two to shut them both off. These do not simultaneously charge at the same time. The first channel will always go first. So that means our Polestar 2 will always charge first. And the way we can see that is this blue light here means it's currently idle. So it's waiting for us to plug the car in. When the light starts blinking or rotating green, it means it's charging. When it's a solid green, it means it's done charging. All right, let's plug in the car. Now we can plug in Polestar 2. Just like this. So right now I am gonna plug in the Tesla Model 3. The Electron's maximum low capacity is 240 volts and 50 amps. So this is a perfect example now that we have everything plugged in. We have both the Model 3 and the Polestar 2 plugged in. First channel, once again, is the Polestar 2. It will always take priority. So right now the Polestar 2 is actually charging 38.8 amps. And then after this is done, the green ring is finished and it's a solid ring, it will turn blue and the Tesla Model 3 will then begin charging. So while it is very beneficial to have the splitter, there are some negatives. Um, the biggest negative, obviously, for us is for some reason, we can't use this with scheduled charging on both cars. So your onboard computer, when you set your scheduled timing on, this does not work with it. It will not turn on no matter what. We've tried it with both cars, with different pl uh, with the different plugs and different orientations. It just would not work. So what we have here is we can actually see we have the first car plug in the Polestar 2 and it's gonna struggle, it's not gonna work because we actually have scheduled charging going on here. And even though it's set at the correct time, you can see it's fighting it. The NEMA splitter from Lectron doesn't work right, as I was explaining, with the car's onboard scheduled charging. You need to give this thing full control. 
So there you go. As you can see, it is now charging. It's going up to 38.7 amps, somewhere around there. It's going to settle down. But yeah, that just goes to show scheduled charging doesn't work here. You have to plug it in when it's ready to go and let that thing manage it. So that's one downside. You have to plug it in. For us, we are on the SoCal Edison uh, savings program kind of thing. So we do have a certain time frame that we charge our cars. That means I have to come out and plug it in manually because our scheduled timing will not turn on. I've, I've tried it many, many times. I have not gotten it to work on our cars. The other thing that is kind of weird is it's a loud, there's a loud popping noise when the first plug transitions over to the second plug for, for charging. So right now the post start two is done charging. Once it settles in, you can see it's actually swapping and it's trying to figure out whether the car is finished charging or not. So it's transitioning between blue and green. This is the clicking that I was talking about. It does have a really loud click. And now you saw the Tesla part started changing green because it's thinking, okay, it's starting to realize it's time for the Tesla. Trust me guys, it actually works. It sounds a little weird right now. It, it, it sounds a little sketchy, but it will settle and the Tesla will start charging. And this is absolutely normal. Uh, according to Electron, we reached out to them, we've talked to them about it and they're like, this noise is normal. So while we're waiting for this to switch over to the Tesla to charge, I just wanted to also make a disclaimer that while this worked about 90% of the time and it was pretty good, there was one or two nights out of the about three weeks I've had this where the right channel wouldn't start. It wouldn't transition over. So the next morning I woke up and the Tesla wasn't charged. So as you can see, the Polestar 2 is done charging and the Tesla Model 3 is charging now. However, for some reason, it does kind of bounce back and forth with the light. Um, I've seen this happen and maybe there's some lingering charge that's over 0.6 apps that uh, kind of throws this off a little bit. I don't really know what's causing that. However, as you can see, it's still charging the second car after the first car is done. So as long as it works, I guess. Although this does give you two NEMA 1450 plugs, they aren't charging simultaneously at the same time. So if you're driving a lot and you do need to charge both cars up from zero to hundred, which most people don't, then you might start having to deal with certain maybe timing issues because you only have a certain amount of hours at the nighttime for, to charge up both cars. And if you have to wait for one to be done before the other one starts, well, you might have to juggle that. But in our use cases, we only charge the Tesla Model 3 up to 80%, and then the Polestar 2, we charge up to 90%, and we rarely come back home with it with like less than 30 to 25 percent left even on a busy day so we ha we've had we haven't had issues with getting both cars up to where they need to be by the next day but once again if you're driving a lot and you're both people are driving the cars a lot maybe this will be an issue for you so ultimately i do think this is a game changer instead of having to install a second nema 1450 plug which i was actually thinking of doing this solves my problem and saves me some money and I do think that this is a product that actually solves an issue, whereas a lot of other EV products are kind of like, you know, do you really need it? This thing I actually did need. I actually really needed this. So Electron reached out at the perfect time and it actually helped me fix an issue that I was dealing with with my two EVs. Once again, this is Alex from the Subnautics. Thank you so much to Electron for sending us a unit to review. I hope this is beneficial for you guys out there. And a lot of people are getting more EVs in their homes, multiple EVs, and this is a terrific product to help out with our households. I'll see you guys in the next one. 